Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I just want to show you how to use the tile map system that's included in 2017.2. I'm pretty new to it myself. I just started using it yesterday, and I'm just going to share what I've learned so far and how to kind of get started. So the first thing you need, obviously, is a set of tiles. I'm just using this free pixel art platform pack. It seems like it works pretty well with this. So with it imported, what I want to do is go to Game Object and 2D Object and Tile Map. This is going to create a grid, and then underneath you'll see a tile map. These actually work as layers, so we can have multiple in here and stack tiles on top of each other. I'll dig into that a little bit later. So now I want to open up the Tile Palette under the Window menu. Oh, that got big. Let's shrink that down. Cool. So here we've got the palette window and what I need to do is create a new palette so I'm just hit create and we'll name this 2d platforms and I'll just hit create right here now it's gonna ask me for a, pa a folder to put these assets into I'm just gonna leave them in the root right now assume you'd want to organize these better if you're building up a real project now I'm gonna go into the folder here and just take in the basic tile drop it in it's going to want to create an asset. This asset has the sprite on it and then just extra info for the tiling system. So there we go, we've got a sprite. And why don't I drop a couple more in here? So here's basic three, and I think I want to put one of the top ones. There we go. Let's use top one and uh, maybe top two. Right, we'll put these side by side so I can grab them together if I want. And now I'm just going to dock this tile palette over here. Um, the, or, the area or order where these are doesn't seem to matter, but you can multi-select them and paint them as a single brush, so I guess it kind of matters if you want to use it that way. For now, I'm just going to use them one at a time, though. So I select a tile over here. Now, since I have this tile window open, it's mainly because this tile palette's open, I can just go in here and paint tiles. And let me pull up the game view side by side so you can see how that looks. So here I'm just painting tiles you know, and filling up a scene. It makes it really easy to do you know, nice little tile painting systems and build up little 2D maps. Um, another option in here is just this uh, paint one so I can select an area like this and just fill it up. Like, let's fill it up with this more basic looking one. Oh, I didn't select the, the rectangle tool again. There we go. But I can also hold shift and delete them. So you see, like, it, it shows all of these, but I'm really holding shift right now, so it's doing a delete. So what I'm going to do is just draw some of these guys on the ground, and then I'm going to select both of these. So now that I have both of these selected, you see the brush now has the two of them. Now I'm going to just drag that along, too, and just draw a little top. The reason I'm doing this is I want to show how to hook up physics next. So with this tile map selected, I can go down here and add a component. Oh, here, let's minimize. Make this a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to add a component, and it's a tile map collider 2D. And you may have noticed that these turned green. The little collider display showed up. So these have a collider on them. Now I'm going to create a sphere, or a circle, I guess a 2D sprite and I'll use the knob, just the default circle. So we have a little circle right in here. And now, you may notice that when I put my mouse over here, I'm stuck in this tile editing mode. The only way I've found to get out of that is to go to the tile palette and just close it. Once that's closed, that tile editing mode stops. I haven't found another way out of it yet, and there might be one, but yeah. if you know one, please share it. So with this sprite selected, this circle, I'm gonna rename it circle. I'm going to add a circle collider and I'm going to add a rigid body 2D. Now you should see, right here, let's scroll, let's scale it up first. Make it a little bit bigger. You see the physics in action. This thing falls down, lands on there, and rolls around as you would expect. Now I haven't played a whole lot with the tile colliders, but they seem to be pretty easy to use. So that's just a real quick introduction to the tiling system. I'm going to do another video that shows how to use these tile map layers and layer things on top of each other, building a more 2D type top-down map. 
So thanks for watching. Go ahead and check that one out if you're interested too. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe.